Here we are at Rosenborg Castle. Isn't that beautiful in the sunshine over there? This is the Renaissance Castle. The royals don't live here at the moment, um, but they did many years ago. So we're going to go tour that. And look, it has a moat. Oh, well, good going. I tour. forgot to pick that up at the hotel this morning. Okay. All right, lead the way. We're inside Rosenborg Castle. Now, this castle was built in 1606 by Christian IV. And this was um, a summer castle for him. He designed most of this Dutch Renaissance style. And the next three generation of kin kings lived here and then it became kind of an occasional place and then it became a storehouse. And it was one of the first castles to be a museum where they let the public in. That happened in the 1830s. So let's go take the tour. This is the ceiling of what once was Christian the fourth bedroom. There's no bedroom furniture in here today, but yeah, a picture of him on his deathbed, I think, right there. Now we're entering the, the royal potty, the royal bathroom. Wow, look at that tile work. The throne. Right it's where Denmark was ruled from for so many years. This beautiful room is the summer, or the garden room rather, and it was decorated in 1706 for Queen Louise. I would have to say she was pretty happy with this room. This is gorgeous. This is called the marble room. Are you doing this for my You do it. Okay. You go ahead and do it. Frederick the third marble room. It's furnished in Baroque style to glorify the introduction of the absolute monarchy in 1660. The power was not the uh, in the king's heads. Right. But after the Christian IV, they have an absolute kingdom. It means the king can be no replace. It's going from the father to son. But before that, that was a, okay, they, they, they choose. You're good, you know, good, out, next one. So in this, this case, yeah. yeah. But they didn't get the opportunity to go through this like we did. The, the regular yeah, but, 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 but I guess word would get out. Maybe. Yeah, but there, there was the 1600s, you know. There was an alphabet. It was a different, different uh, time, and uh, they didn't realize it. Yeah. yeah, and they didn't have to, I guess. They didn't have to because so he, he he was doing a lot of wars. You know, they, uh, the the soldier there was uh, you know the soldier time like a, you know in the Europe there was a lifetime. You go one, so you will never come back, or maybe you back after forty years. Yeah. Oh. And no one no man, no. knew you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love these spiral staircases. We get up without killing ourselves. All right, where are we now? What uh, is this this is the 13th. We have to read about this. The room, the rose, the Rococo side. This is Princess Sophie Hedvig's chamber. It's a Chinese style. You can see the panels installed in 1663 to 1665. The lacquered furniture was from 1730. I guess she had to sit on the floor for the first hundred years or so. <laughs> this is Frederick IV's room, um, which was contains Flemish tapestries from around 1730. 
they are quite intricate and beautiful. This is a bust of 18th century monarch Frederick IV. And this is Frederick IV's cabinet room. I really like this room. This is Christian the Sixth uh, room. Furnishings were from Fredericksburg and Christiansburg Castle. So apparently they weren't built for this room and they've been moved here for this castle to be part of the museum. But it is quite attractive. These are Flemish tapestries from 1684 depicting Alexander the Great. We're now on the third floor. This is called the Long Room, obviously, because it's long. And here are the real thrones from where Denmark was ruled. This is the throne of the king in 1665. It's Narwhal Tusk. Made it, the one on the left there. And the throne of the queen from 1731. That's the one on the right. And they're guarded by three silver lions. This is the far end of the throne room. Whoa, what's that up there? Yikes, it's me. 